Hello, welcome to Big Chief's Fly Toying Corner. I am your host, Ned Flyman, also known as the Trout Whisperer. And today, I will be teaching you how to tie the rock worm, and I will also be teaching you how to tie the Adam's Fly. And you can see this morning, I even tied, I just tied one this morning. This is my personal favorite and custom lure called Zemefla. I also just put this on, little touch wings here. Hopefully you're going to catch the big trout like the big chief has before. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this awesome fly tying video. All right, so the first step you want to take when tying your rock worm is to get your thread on like so, and then start making some easy wrapping here, like so. And then you take your excess here and you just snip it right off. And then you take your end here and you just keep wrapping all the way down. Just like so. So you get right about the bends in the hook here. And then what you do next, you take some of your copper wire. You get about this much off right here and you snip it off too. Then what you do with this piece is you bend the ends up just a hair to 45 degrees and you set this end on the end here and you just wrap it on to make sure it holds in place. And then you have your rest copper just hanging out over here. Next what you do is you get your rabbit dubbing olive color like this. And you take some out of the bag. Now what you do with this is you just lightly put it onto your line here. Kind of make sure you twist it around. Gets on a nice and even like. And then you wrap. And you get the nice poofy side to it. And then what you do here, because now your threading is done, okay? So all you do now is you take your end here like this, wrap it around your fingers, and then you make sure you tighten it onto the front, the head of your fly. Make sure you do this at least three times. You put your on here, wrap it around like this, twist your fingers twice, and then insert the loop on the head here, and pull tight with your thread. Now with the extra thread, you just snip it off, like that. Now what you do with your copper wire, is you wrap it around your green blob here, as I call it. Make sure it is on there nice and tight. And then you just kind of fluff it out a little bit, make sure you get any loose pieces. And there you have it folks. Right there is the rock worm. Very simple fly, especially for first time. You want to make sure that you use enough green fluff. And that little sucker right there is going to hopefully catch the big and trout. All right, so, so the next fly is called the Adam's fly. It is supposed to represent the damsel fly, the mare fly, and also the dobson fly. So it is relatively easy to tie. Uh, very good for beginner, very good challenge for them. Uh, so first thing we must do, like our rock worm, is you take a little bit of extra and you just wrap it around like that. And now you just snip off the excess, maybe. And now you must wrap all the way to the end or to the beginning of the curve in the hook, to right there. Now. You take a piece of your grizzly hackle, like this, and you set it on the end here, like so, and then you wrap around a few times to hold it in place. Now you have your tail to your arms fly. Now what you must do is take some of your rabbit dubbing gray right here and you must add this onto your line or to your thread I mean 
by just lightly wrapping it around. You do not need too much. And then you just wrap it around your tail like this. Of your, now you must take a whole piece of your grizzly hackle like so. You snip off the junk end like this. Now you sit on top and you wrap a few three to five times to keep in place. And you also take some of your brown saddle hackle and you also snip off the junk in. And you set on top your grizzly hackle and you wrap it a few times to hold in place. Then you snip off the junk end like this. Now what you must do to get the fuzz end is you must take your hackle and wrap it around like so. Now you wrap your end here to hold in place with the thread then you snip off the excess. Now you take your brown saddle hackle and do the same thing. Now you do the same where you wrap around some thread along the end. Now you wrap around the ends here and make sure it is very tight. Like so. I would wrap around at least five times and then you snip off the excess piece like this. Now to finish it, you tie the same knot like we did for the green worm or the rock worm. And then you take on like this. You pull tight. I would do this at least three times just to make sure it is going to stay put, especially when you are fighting the big trout. Then you snip off your excess wire. And then you clean up. Just pull off the excess loose feather or fur and there you go. You have created the Atoms Fly as seen here. It's got the tail here and it's also got the bushy outside. Trout's going to come up and smack it very good. Alright, so here are our two flies that we have tied in this video today. We have the Rock Worm and the Atoms Fly on the bottom. And do not forget to check us out on all social media platforms, including the Facebook and the Instagram, which unlike Mr. Fish, I am on the Instagram. We're at Big Chief Outdoors. So thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out the future where I will go and catch so many fish on these lures. You will see more of me around in the near future. Good luck and good fish.